Hello guys, today I'm going to show you a quick demonstration and put into practice what I was explaining in my previous video about using hash keys and hash divs for data vault in order to track the changes in your data. Please feel free to check it if you have any doubts about the theory part and let's jump in into the practice part. So in order to make the test, we need to create two tables and one view. Table one will be the one that has the data from the files that we are receiving every day. It will be truncate and load. Later, a view that it will have the same data as the table one, but where we will also create the hash keys and the hash divs. Sorry for that. And table two, it will be the one, the is the output that we want. It will be the table that we will contain the data that we're receiving table one, but without duplicates and with the changes tracked as we will perform in our merge operation script. So let's start running the queries now. First, we create a table one, table customer. We are creating, we are inserting the data. Let's suppose that this is the data that are coming from blob, rows inserted, and we select, and we can check here the data inserted. We see that it has Jane Sparrow and Will Smile, which later this will change. And now we are creating the view we need somehow to create a hash key and hash this logic. So we create it in the view on top of this table one. So if we are running the view, it already exists. So, okay, I created before. And this is what we have. We have the name, we have the last name, we have the hash keys and the hash div generated. Of course, as I was explaining, it was not one, 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 but it's this long, a binary hash uh, generated. So now what we have to do is create a table two. We will create it with the hash key and hash div uh, fields already. It's created and now what we want is to do a merge operation into the table two called customer hash. And we will use the, the customer view to in order to do that. Now we have three lines in the customer view. And here, basically, we are saying if the target hash key is the same, or let's actually, as it's the first time this merge operation, we'll just insert the data. So I will explain later what will happen the second time. So rows, rows inserted three. If we are selecting, we see the three lines. And this is how it looks like. Now, this was, let's say, received yesterday, but today we have another file, okay? And the file, it will be ingested in customer in table one. So let's say that we have a script that truncates the loads first, and now insert some values. We have Jack Sparrow and we have Will Smith. Take into consideration that this change. So now we have the view as well will change because this is reading from our table. You see Jack Sparrow and Will Smith. And now from this view, it will try to merge the data into table number two. But now we are taking, or we are creating the logic which says, the ones that have the same hash key when is matched and they have different hash divs, this, this will mean that they have different, that something will change, has changed in the name or in the last name. Before it was Jane, now it's Jack, and they have different hash divs. So in this case, update the name and the last name from the source. The source is our customer view, so let's say the latest data. And later, if it's not much, if it's not much in the line 70, this means that when the hash keys are not much, when they have different hash key. The hash key is based on the ID. If we see it here into the um, view configuration, you see here is with ID and the hash if it's based on the name and the last name. So when the merge is not match, then insert all of the data. So then insert, we should see that it's inserting Bruno Mars. So let's try to merge this operation 
And as we can see, rows inserted one and rows updated two. And if now we see the table, we see that we have the IDs Jack Sparrow updated, Will Smith is not Will Smile, and we have Bruno Mars. But we don't have any duplicates, we don't have anything. So if we truncate the table customer and we put insert into, actually it was already there. I don't know why I made this. Merge into again should give zero rows inserted and two rows updated. So it's not inserting anymore because it doesn't detect any change. So that's how it is. And I hope that it hope, uh, help you on debugging all your data vault problems. Thank you so much for watching.